Greeting, love tubers. All right, I got asked some questions. And you know, I'm new to this whole putting out my music thing. I haven't been in the game that long. And I looked through the questions and I said, you know what, it's probably good if my audience knew the answer to these questions as well. So what I will do is for those who are new to music and putting your information out is I will share the interview questions with you first because I'm the type of lady who I don't have a lot of time. Um, and if that's you, you just want to hear the questions and you want to go about your business and then that, that's not you and you're interested in me at getting to know me more about me and my artistry side, then you can stay for the remainder to hear the answers in regards to the interview questions. Interview questions. What is your artist's name? Say it and spell it. What inspired you to pursue a career in rap? How would you describe your musical style and lyrical themes? What sets you apart from other emerging rap artists? Who are your musical influences both within and outside the rap genre? Can you share some of your most memorable accomplishments or milestones in your music career so far? How do you come up with your song concepts and lyrics? Are there any specific tracks that define your style or message as a rap artist? Can you give us a sneak peek into any upcoming music releases or projects? What is the visual aesthetic or brand identity you're aiming to convey through your music videos, artwork, and overall image? So for those who, those were the questions. That was all the questions. And I answered yesterday, and I had actually recorded while I was answering the message and sending the voice note over to the individual requesting it. But uh, it was a little dark in the room. And I said, you know what? This is a special opportunity for somebody who's just meeting me. This is their first time. I'd like to do my hair and my makeup and maybe fix my nails a little bit and give them a proper introduction. Nice to meet you. My name's Denelzia Walker. That's spelled D-E-N-E-L-S-I-A-W-A-L-K-E-R. And I'm gonna try to keep these earrings flipped, but if they bother me too much, I will just take them out. All right, so that was my artist name and spelling. What inspired you to pursue a career in rap? I did not pursue a career in rap. I am pursuing a career in music. Um, how would you describe your musical style and lyrical things? The genre I mostly participate in is spoken word, jazz, neo-soul, R&B, and I do like a little bit of reggae or Afro beats. Um, just was writing, started at the beginning of a poem today after being inspired by watching another poem, okay? Uh, let's see here. As far as themes, the most concentrated themes that I have written lately on have been relationships, sex, love, and drugs, but I have covered other topics that are considered controversial, but should not be, such as social injustice, domestic violence, and misogyny. With the killing sprees that we've had lately in Texas and Indiana, I did write up some poetry pieces in regards to that as well. A few poems on celebrities like Tina, Turdy, Tina Turner, Steve Harvey, Saucy Santana, and Rico Nasty. My caliber as of late is erotic poetry and songs, therefore taboo subjects have been shed light on. What sets me apart from other emerging rap artists, my genre is not rap, but I can be transformative to agree and playful in some areas. That is not my natural accustomed skill set. Matter of fact, I had to do some studying on my last song um, when I did the rap part. Well, one of the songs I did, not my last song. Uh, you Make Me Wanna Sing with Abe Jetter, May He Rest in Peace, and Matt Big Beats. I ended up doing some research in regards to the rap for the top Jamaican rap artist at that time. Um, looked at what he was doing, and then that's how I came up with the rap part for that. Who are your musical influences both with and in and outside the rap song genre? I'm so my mom was a music teacher. We all played, me, dad, sissy, we all played 
instruments. Grew up on piano. Mean says he grew up on piano and violin. Uh, Daddy played piano as well. Mom sight reads. Uh, so when I I love music. Period, from classical to raunchy rap to trap music. Um, Two Baba, Burner Boy, Devito, Rotimi, Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, Gerald Levert, Keith Sweat, Silk, Jamie Foxx, Prince, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Ledesi, Beyonce, Hove, Kanye, India Ari, Jill Scott, Angie Stone, Janae Monet, Aretha Franklin, Etta James, Patti LaBelle, Dionne Warwick, Madonna, Jasmine Sullivan, Josh Crowbon, Nina Simone, Garth Brooks, Reba McIntyre, Faith Hill, Dolly Parton, Lizzo, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Doja Cat, Swahili, Koi Lee DMX, Missy Elliott, Cardi B, Lotto. This is just to name a few. Yesterday I twerked the hood rat, sexy red, and sookie. Church girl by Bay and skeet freak by for my OnlyFans page, cause it was hump day. Digital Underground, Christina Aguilera, Rihanna, Mariah Carey, Adele, Two Short, Snoop, Dr. Dre, and Pharrell. Can you share some of your most memorable compliments or milestones in your music career so far? I performed at the Ice Lounge here in Indianapolis when it was around downtown. I also performed at the Indiana War Museum in downtown Indianapolis, an event called Meeting of the Face. I was in a group called Writer's Block. We performed all over Indianapolis for events and our own competitions. Features in Beyond Music under Brittany Brooklyn's management and Just Will. I always hit the greenhouse effect when it came through on Fridays, the triangle in the heart of the hood under Harold Hardy as well. I enjoyed it when I did going to the ATL to perform. Recent performances have been at Illusions and Georgia Street. How do you come up with your song concepts and lyrics? Well, this is my favorite question out of all the questions besides my artistry name. It's really simple. I jot down stuff from the day that I've experienced and that evening I might write about it. I take a lot of notes or focusing on a situation, I write. I may hear an interview and if I was inspired by that interview, I'm going to just write up a poem right there or a song. There have been times that I've entered a venue, I know I'm going to do a poem, I haven't carried any information or poetry with me and I write it on the spot and then perform it for the venue. Writing is like water to me, a never-ending running faucet. Are there any particular tracks that define your style or message as a rap artist? And that's when I talked about uh, You Make Me Want to Sing, um, being the only one that I have tried my hand in rapping at. Can you give us a sneak peek into what was going through my mind? Because I got, I got kind of quiet. I was thinking of anyone in particular that might have a... Uh, song that kind of reflects everything overall that would define me as a woman. For artistry. If I had to name this somebody off the bat, it would be um, Anna James. She did a song called uh, "I Am Woman." You can't hardly find the non-drunk version on the internet, but it's a lovely song. And I think that that would describe me uh, pretty much overall. Well, a sneak peek in regards to artistry. I wrote a poem off that called I Am Woman, actually. Um. That's all my Supreme Rain Love Redefined soundtrack. Can you give us a sneak peek into any upcoming music releases or projects? Well, I just released three EPs. Did I bring my maracas with me? The maracas are sitting at home, child. 
Normally I carry my maracas with me. Here, there you go. There's the maracas. Um, I'm gonna see how they do as far as the um, EPs, and then depending on how those succeed determines, you know, what comes up next, how well they are uh, received. The new releases are uh, Live Life and Love Ferociously, Soul Tonic, Harmony, Infinite Wealth, and Luxury. So the first one is Live Life and Love Ferociously. The second one is Soul Tonic. I don't have it spelled ghetto. It is exactly how it sounds. Soul, space, tonic. Um, harmony, infinite wealth and luxury, and of course, commas in between there. So normal spelling. Let's see here. Not that I am against ebonics or being creative in the spelling area, but I kept it real simplistic. Um, let's see. I'd like to be able, I do have one more EP that I would like to put out this year, um, but the people at District Kid and their system, uh, I, I, I don't know. Once the system is properly updated to be able to accomplish adding simple things such as a new phone number, we might do that or we might seek other means to complete that. I'm still going through it with them. One step at a time, one step at a time. Breathing and praying. What is the visual aesthetic or brand identity you're aiming to convey through your music, videos, artwork, and overall image? Freedom. <laughs> and that crazy earring that gets in my nose. Women's freedom. Liberation. Freedom of thoughts. Freedom of sexuality. Freedom to be who you are. No inhibitions. No apologies. But overall, for all of humanity, freedom. And those were all the questions, and I thought you all might enjoy hearing that all in one place. I would have never thought to do that. Uh, of course, my thoughts have been on focusing on other things at this time. But thank you for your patience. I appreciate you listening um, to me, and what I will do will do is I always uh, for the videos I drop my links and stuff so if you have any other questions or if you've been in interviews already and they asked you and you're a newbie not someone experienced and uh, broken in if you're a newbie creative artist because that can be used towards all the genres that can also be used, I guess, uh, or other creative uh, methods or outlets. But if you're a newbie and you've been asked some other different questions that were not on that list, we need to share. Share with me. Go on and post it up in the comments, honey. Let's get it on and pop it. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please make sure you smash that like button, baby. And I hope you have an exceptional rest of your day. Mwah.